Good evening. Racist texts, lines of cocaine, and now illegal surveillance. Disturbing new details from inside the Capitol Hill controversy tonight. At this hour, Speaker Glenn Cassida still refuses to step down. We have team coverage as Democrats call for a federal investigation into bugging and eavesdropping accusations. Well, we begin with a brand new audio recording from Cassida, uncovered by News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams. And Phil, this recording doesn't help the Speaker's case. Not at all. The secret recording recently obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates suggests the speaker knowingly lied to the public when he suggested those text messages were not real. I do not believe those are true. House Speaker Glenn Cassida, in the hours after news broke of racist text messages from his chief of staff, Kate Cuthren, lashed out, even suggesting that the texts obtained by News Channel 5 Investigates were fake. So I just refuse to believe anything else because of what I know firsthand. But the day before, Cassida had his suspicions about the source of the text messages, calling up a former associate. So what's happened is uh, this accusation that Kate has sent some inflammatory When the person repeatedly sidestepped Cassidy's questions, the House Speaker indicated his suspicions had been confirmed. Well, I wish it sounds like you might have, might have released something. Um, so, you know, I'm going to just, I hate that you did that. But. I don't appreciate the fact that he came on my show and lied to everybody out there. Cassida had even tried to convince talk radio host Phil Valentine that the text had been fabricated. Today on the air, Valentine was fed up with the House Speaker. I'm asking tough questions, no doubt, but I'm expecting honest answers. Cassida's story began to crumble after News Channel 5 investigates produced a selfie from those text messages in which Catherine boasted about his use of illegal drugs. Other texts showed vulgar exchanges about women with the speaker himself. Today, Cassida issued a statement saying, I apologize and hope that my friends, family, colleagues, and constituents find a way to forgive me for it because it is not the person I am and it hasn't been the way I have conducted myself as speaker. I can't believe he hasn't resigned all Already. I think it's time to go, time to move on. He spoke himself that he uh, has done things that he regrets. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee continued to duck questions about whether Cassidy should step aside, but East Tennessee Republican Jeremy Faison wasn't hesitant at all. We don't need to be uh, pulled down by Speaker Cassidy. He needs to step down and as Speaker and then allow Williamson County to find out if they want to keep him as a representative or not. Faison, who has a biracial child, said the fact that Cassida himself was in a text message exchange in which his aide referred to a West Tennessee district with this black people meme hits especially close to home. How does anybody of color, it's not Caucasian, how did they feel that the third most powerful man in the state of Tennessee was complicit with racism? And, and I, you know, there's just, there's nothing okay with that. Now, Speaker Cassidy's apology did not address his initial insistence that those text messages were fabricated. He said he wants his House Ethics Committee, the committee he appointed, to investigate what he calls the termination of his chief of staff, although Kate Cothran supposedly resigned. Still, there's no suggestion that he himself ought to face an ethics investigation. In the newsroom, Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates.